Okay. All right, so we are going to be cutting today a nice little walking stick, and I kind of went through the woods here and kind of selected something. Now, some of them are a little bit bigger. We want something that I can, you know, somebody can grab by the handle, by the end, and usually that a handle. So some of these are obviously a little bit too big for that. So I'm just going to select something that I think might be suitable, that we can get some length out of it. Because some of the sticks um, are going to be of different length. So I've chosen this one. This might make a good little medium one right here. So I'm going to just cut it down here at the base. So this is where we're at. This is a raw form right here. Still has the bark. Nice and tall. But we can cut that down, which I'll show you later. As I said, we've got three different sizes. Right now this is a little long, but we'll bring it back to the shop. We'll look at what we've got and we'll start the process of making a walking stick. Okay, so we're back here in the shop right now. We've got a few of the sticks laid out on the table. What we want to try to do is retain a handle from this end of the stick. Give this sort of effect, almost like a leather type of a look on it. And I've just cut it back here and taken off that. So what I want to do initially is mark that off. So what I'll do is set this off the side right now. I'll just mark off what I think a handle length should be. So I'm just gonna get this to stick. I'll just mark this with my tape. So now this top will be the handle part, okay, and what I'll do is I'll pull this back to expose the wood and that'll be dried out from there. I use my old gloves, just kind of recycle them, and it kind of holds the stick nice. in there. Now I use old style gears you can see. So this is just my draw shave. Try to keep that bleed blade clean and reasonably sharp. And what I want to do is peel back this layer right here. So I just take my draw shave pull. Our stick, you can see on the end here, has got knots, okay? So if you run your draw shave across that, it'll probably get hung up, and a lot of times it'll take out a whole chunk, which you don't want to do. So what I do is I would secure it in the vise, then I have a power planer that I can use to just, you know, touch these 
and just bring it down to a, a more reasonable height. So after I'm finishing these, what I generally do is strip all the bark off and then I'll let them sit and cure. Just sit and dry out a little bit because they're pretty, pretty fresh. knife and just kind of clean up any of the, the loose now I generally leave a little bit of bark on the end you see that because what's going to happen is, let me pull down a finished stick. Okay. So, so eventually, this is going to get a drilled handle uh, cording, nylon cording, and then in a, I'm going to sand this with uh, three different grits starting at about an 80 grit, starting about an 80 grit, and bringing it down to about a, a 220, uh, and then it'll get uh, several coats of shellac. But before all that's done, I want to seal this end. I want to seal that end against moisture getting up in there. So what I use is uh, this uh, black. Uh, now this is this is readily uh, found to uh, dip your tools in. You know, only what I do is I'll just dip my stick inside that. I'll I'll thin it out, and then I'll just put like a little piece of copper just to finish it off. Okay, uh, one other thing I can do today is, is drill the handle hole. Okay, so we're going to be using a step bit. You can see the steps down through here. And the reason I'm using this as opposed to a uh, standard drill bit is I want to uh, be able to adjust the overall width of the hole with a standard bit of course you you could use just half inch or whatever but I'm using it because I like to adjust it a little bit so yeah so I'd use a step bit to drill the, the hole in the handle I'll just sight this and see how that would be Now my next step is to begin some of the uh, sanding process. So uh, now that we've got our uh, stick on a rack here, we want to do some sanding. We've got our our mask 
on. We've got our 80 grit on our stick and we're going to do a little fan here. Okay, so we've knocked off, knocked off uh, the uh, larger burrs. We'll go ahead and change out our paper. So I'm going to throw a 120 on. I'll start at the handle because I want to blend this in a little bit better. And I just work it back down through. Okay, so that's with a 120 as you've seen. It's taken all the rough down. Okay, so I'm just going to touch this up. Okay, that was 120. Next, and our final one will be the 220. 220 grit. Okay. Thank you.
Okay, our sanding is pretty good. So now I want to get all the burrs, all the sand uh, rough edges off. So I'm going to use some denatured alcohol. I'm going to grab a rag. <clears throat> this will probably raise the grain up a little bit, but it'll dry pretty quick. Just like that. Just kind of let it sit there for a sec until it sets up. Okay. Now I just kind of let it settle into all the little grooves there. All right, so now we're just going to set it up to dry. Do another one for you. So you taped off the end, clean up a little bit, make sure it's right. Okay, so we'll just put it in the jar. Down. Doesn't take very long to dry and set up. But you want it to, the excess to uh, fall back into the thing and not drip all over your floor. Okay. All right, so that end can be hung up. I just use a piece of wire and we'll hang it up. Okay. And that's that process done. polyester or something like that but for our purposes I think it'll work just fine so then I'm going to use a rag you could use a brush I'm going to open my can and just start uh, lightly building up layers one layer at a time let it dry that's what this is going to be you can see it's just got the one layer All right, so we have a task in front of you. We want to finish this stick. So I just, you could use a brush if you want to, but I'm just going to use a little piece of cloth, actually a washcloth. That, and I just cut off a little, maybe a two by two square. Okay, two by two square. Just a little tear across. And then I'm going to open this black. Uh, now, hmm. dip it in here. But first, before I do that, I think I want to give this a little stir. So I happen to have my stir sticks right here. Right. Okay. Now, I suppose if you were a super professional, you'd be wearing gloves, but I don't have that luxury today. So we just want to get some on here. Put it on there. Just let me just see. And this first coat, it's really going to absorb it. So I go ahead and liberally put it into that. You can turn it around like that. And you can see it, it just goes right into it. Now. I work it right down to 
where my tape is on the end. I don't want to get the, the shellac beyond that point because when I go to dip it, if I seal it, then the, uh, the dip won't stick to it. So I'm just rubbing this in, this. And that's my first coat. I'll let that dry for, oh, I'd say probably half an hour. And I can go ahead and next I'll use the, uh, Okay, now that I've got my finish on my sticks, I still have uh, some detail work to finish out the stick. So uh, I put the little tape here to give me a guide for the depth that I wanted the, the dip. So I'm just going to remove that tape after it's dry. And one of the little finishing things that I like to... Uh, put on um, the stick is just to seal that end with a little bit of copper. So I just put, peel it back. Careful not to get your fingers in there. Okay, so I'm just going to try to get that in a relatively straight thing. I rotate my stick around, locate the other end, press that. I generally cut it at about a, I don't know, 60, 40, I don't know, angle there. Okay, and that gives me ample tape to make it seal on the end just like that. Okay so uh, we want to cut uh, some cord, some nylon cord for the handle so I'm uh, just going to half that So it looks about maybe, I guess, maybe 13. Yeah. So we have about an overall length of about 26 inches. When we cut the end, we want to stop that fraying. So all we're going to do is just put a little heat on that. And that'll help seal that in. Watch you don't get your fingers in there because it is warm. Okay. Okay, so that's sealed that end. Now, all we need to do. Now some of you all can probably join against ends together, braiding it, but for today we're just going to tie a knot as so, just a thick knot. Alright, handle, we're ready for a walk, let's go.